Um, thank you very much for, for the invitation, Mark and Davide. Um, uh, when I was asked to speak about, um, um, about the role of religion um, in, um, in cultural diplomacy, um, I started thinking about my, my own job um, as, as, as the chairman uh, suggested. I belong to a political force, which is Partito Democratico, who's tried to conjugate um, in Italian politics, somewhat successfully and somewhat unsuccessfully, um, the tradition of um, uh, Catholic parties in Italy with the tradition of communist parties. So we have our own problems, but I don't want to speak about Italian politics right now. I'd like to talk about a problem that we as politicians um, in different country of, uh, countries of the world are facing concerning the role between uh, religious beliefs and democracy. And um, especially uh, the problems that have been posed by uh, the Arab Spring, which of course as we, uh, is a um, uh, a number of events occurred in the southern, um, in the southern uh, rim of the Mediterranean, um, uh, which have witnessed the emergence of, as a political force of political Islam. And of course, the relationship between political Islam and, um, let's say, um, other democracies in the world is an issue for politicians, I, 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 would, uh, I would say. Um, of course, the relationship between faith and democracy has been analyzed by many researchers. I believe in the room there are many people that uh, know a lot more about the topic than I do. But I would like to, to, to put three points and then um, elaborate a little bit on what I think um, should be are the main points of the relationship between Western political parties and Western political forces and political Islam. Of course, um, democracy, one of the main issues within democratic constitution is to protect free exercise of religion. We see this in the First Amendment to the US Constitution. We see it in, for example, in the Italian Constitution at Article 3, where we say that every citizen is equal in front of the law, um, regardless of their religious belief. We see it in one very recent constitution that has been approved, which is the Tunisian constitution, which says that Islam is the state religion, but uh, the constitution itself protects every religious belief. So the relationship of, between democracy and religion in many constitutions is one part of the quality of democracy in those countries. However, there are many researchers that have suggested that um, religious beliefs and democracies have a difficult getting along. First of all, because in some sense, and I speak um, from the point of view of a person that is n a non-religious believer, so I'm sorry if I touch on people's sensitivities. Um, in some way, uh, religions, of course, have an absolute idea of um, how, uh, of values and how the world sh should, uh, should, should go. Um, and this, in some ways, of course, is, um, is a problem when you come to a system where, where you have to negotiate between values and, and norms and beliefs. And a second, a second uh, powerful force that makes religion um, some, sometimes uh, difficult to, go, to get along with democracy is identity. We know in different countries, for example, Lebanon, Northern Ireland, where religion has been used or has, been, uh, or has become a powerful flag for conflicts. Um, at the same time, um, as politicians and as citizens, we all know that when you have to take decisions, um, uh, taking into account the, collect the idea of collective good, so when you have to take um, decisions within the realm of politics and within a polity, you need values in order to decide. And of course, religion, as um, the experience of even of my own party uh, suggests is 
a powerful force helping politicians, religious beliefs, religious values, the idea of a collective good, the idea that other people exist besides you, and that the idea that um, you have to take um, other people good into account help politicians um, decide, um, help the moral health of democracy. And so here we have uh, a long history of ideas of people uh, suggesting that uh, religious values help um, democracies, parties that have been built on, on, on religious values. So this is uh, the introduction. Now uh, we come to the to the to the main to the main issues that to the main issues that we as politicians are faced today. We see in the um, in many countries in the Mediterranean that in fact um, political Islam, which is a way of interpreting the participation uh, to to the public life according to political values of Islam, has become an important force. And um, in, any in many discussions that we have, um, we've had, for example, yesterday one with the ambassador of Egypt, um, we always wonder um, how to consider these, these, these political forces. Yesterday, for example, the ambassador um, of Egypt in Italy suggested that um, there is um, a very close tie between the Muslim Brotherhood and fundamentalism. I personally believe, and this is um, some food for thought for, 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 for your work or this afternoon or to take home, I person coming from a country uh, where religion has been such an important part of our political life, we've been governed for 40 years by um, a political party that was called uh, uh, the Christian Democrats, who had important political roots, that of course religion is an important driving force when you take decisions. Um, at the same time, um, I believe uh, strongly that if we want democracy to take different shapes in different parts of the world, um, and if we want democracy to spread in different um, countries in the world, we, we do have to adapt to the idea that democracy can take different forms and that political parties, of course, will not mirror um, the political parties that we see in, the, in Western democracies. And so uh, we might see the emergence of political forces that have values mutuated by other religions, by other beliefs. Um, I know that, um, of course, in the, in the relationship with political Islam, this idea um, is, is very, very touchy because, as, for example, our, uh, my, my meeting yesterday by chance with the ambassador of Egypt, Egypt suggests even within those countries that are experiencing the emergence of political Islam as a, as a true force, as a representative force, um, do not agree with this idea completely. At the same time, um, we cannot think that democracy will take the same shape that we've seen in the Western world, at, especially at a time when democracy in the Western world is facing very many problems. If you, for example, think about the emergence of populism and, uh, and forces that are deeply against democracy within even um, um, Western Europe, which is where uh, democracy um, is more widespread. Um, to, to end up with, um, I would like to, to give you um, a, last, um, a last suggestion, um, which comes from the discussions um, we've had about um, especially the relationship uh, with uh, different uh, regimes like um, Iran um, in, in the recent, uh, in the recent uh, past. Of course, for uh, Western democracies um, in the fashion of European democracies or the US democracy, it's difficult to um, relate to a regime that is um, deeply undemocratic like Iran. At the same time, uh, we have to think that um, we've experienced 
in the past the idea of exporting democracy, and this has not worked very well. Um, if we want to get to a world order um, that is more inclusive and comprehensive of the beliefs and, um, um, and um, customs and the norms that citizens in different parts of the world um, live in, uh, we have also to, to come to terms with the idea of negotiating with regimes that are very different from our own. Um, at the same time, trying to balance our deep beliefs, and especially the idea of upholding um, human rights and liberal values, but at the same time, understanding that um, regimes in other parts of the world might take some time to evolve to these kind of standards. I know it's difficult, but I mean, we are in a, in a meeting where I believe people are very open to discussion. Um, people are very um, keen to put their values and their way of living and their beliefs uh, in common in order to find a common solution to the world problems. So I wanted to, to share um, these two points with you. Thank you.